To compete in Xterra is to experience some of the most spectacular locations our planet has to offer. Even as they run, ride and swim, Xterra athletes must contend and commune with nature. With a racing calendar featuring hundreds of events across five continents, there is no shortage of stunning destinations to explore. Exterra athletes are outdoor adventurers. What they find when they go to different places around the world is they may be in a strange venue or a different a place where nobody speaks their language, but they do find out very quickly that people there all share the same passion and the, the love of the sport and the love of nature. And, you know, Exterra people are explorers in the first degree, I would say. country's landscape is so individually different, like Asia is so rugged and raw, the trails are so not necessarily clear cut and you can be, you know, riding through someone's backyard almost and they're sitting on the patio having their afternoon tea or something and then you go to Europe and you have maybe more clean cut trails but you climb for an hour and you get to the top of the mountain and you can see where you're going to descend to on the course. It takes you to places that you actually really wouldn't go uh, on your travels normally. So, you know, it feels so much more real. You know, you're getting a real side of these countries that you're going to. As far as race locales go, it doesn't get much more exotic than the French Polynesian island of Tahiti, situated in the South Pacific. Every May, the Xterra World Tour makes a stop in this paradise a dream destination for honeymooners, and of course, for off-road triathletes. I'm pretty sure that Tahiti is on just about every nature lover's bucket list. Now imagine being able to experience the nature, the natural beauty of Tahiti while swimming, mountain biking, and trail running during an Xterra. I think that's very, very special in itself. You are experiencing a sensory overload. From, from the beautiful oceans to the jungles to the cultural um, experiences, it's just, it's everything you could ask for for, uh, for an outdoor sports adventure. Tahiti was an amazing destination. I mean, first off, it was just a bucket list place for my wife and I to go. It was just pretty magical just to be there outside of the race. And then the race itself um, was just an amazing kind of tropical adventure and we didn't know for sure what to expect. It was dry at first and then it rained a bunch. Um, so it ended up being a muddy race, but you know, the locals are like, oh, it doesn't rain here. And you, know, you just kind of get what you get and you, you're up for adventure, so it was a good time. While Tahiti is renowned for its picturesque beaches, there are also gorgeous landscapes inland. Riding through the farmer's crops, like the pineapple plantations, the banana plantations, pretty amazing. But even just the whole, experience I had when I went there is you know you don't have a car you stay you can stay up on the mountain so you're overlooking the bay um, and you can just walk down to the beach and go swimming with sharks and they don't bite but um, it's a pretty picturesque location. Yeah.